Greetings, everybody. My name is Frockwell, and this is Random Greg Tech Stuff. And my audio has worked. Good start. Hopefully, we should be doing a little better now. But knowing my luck, probably got worse. <clears throat> yeah! Okay, okay. Alright. Skeleton. There's a cave over there that likes to spit up monsters at me. Ah! Gah. I thought I covered that. Oh, I most definitely did not cover it up. Alright. <clears throat> So if you're watching this, I'm assuming you know what Greg Tech 6 is. But um this is my own mod pack. I've been putting a lot of effort into it. Uh specifically on the quest book. Very uh very much a work in progress at the moment, but I hope that it's gonna turn out alright. That's not right. There we go. Um this mod pack has a whole bunch of stuff in it, uh, mostly mods that don't really add much to Greg Tech, but are just sort of fun to play with. Um, I did have a lot more beforehand, but um, I got rid of some of them because they were kind of pointless. Originally I wanted to have Galacticraft installed, but I decided that maybe not. Um, at the moment. I am planting some coffee beans because they give you a decent amount of seed oil so I can treat wood planks because you need that to make a wooden tank and I wanted to store creosote oil. Not quite as much as I would have liked to have gotten, but okay. Sadly for most of this I was in the habit of throwing out all of my mob drops, so sadly don't have a sort of stockpile of bones, although what I had beforehand was a fairly large amount. This is my little area. Uh, this is a rainforest farm from Bombs of Plenty. The pretty little grotto, I've called it, even though it's not a grotto. There's tree chicken, oil shale. It's a pretty, pretty lovely little place. Uh, I started out in this little cave I actually think I still have some. Yeah, I got a burning box and some vodka. Potatoes for food. All in all, a good time. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking that I... I think I found an appetite vein so I can make some... Um, delete all these deaths. Uh, I, I can make some fertilizer and hopefully make a little more coffee beans. I probably passed by it. Actually, no, I think I found it fairly early game, so it's probably towards the bottom here. I swear I found appetite before. Oof. Pyrite. Yes! Okay, appetite. I knew it. So, right, appetite just takes that, and I've been burning mostly coal, so I don't have ash for that, so I'll probably just use sand, which I have a little bit of. Alright. Um, I'm gonna go grab some appetite. Don't you just love it when you dig like 10 blocks down and your pickaxe breaks? Yeah, that's, that's fun. Um, I'm out here in the desert. Also, I realize that it's a much closer appetite vein right there. <laughs> but that's fine. Um, so, I'm just gonna run back home. Grab a better pickaxe. I might have a wrought iron one lying around. And if not, I'll probably make one. Also, um, I tried to put a noise filter 
on top of my microphone to try and get rid of some of that background noise which was kind of annoying it was super loud when when I first recorded Ooh, lag spike all right cool my favorite um, let's see we have a lovely little um, oasis area here um, I really like Biomes of Plenty. It makes the world a lot more interesting. Um, ooh, I, I was going to talk um, some of the other mods I have in here. Probably one of the more exciting ones, I suppose, I have in here is um, ICBM. And I don't know if any of you played Volts or watched like the Yogg's Cast Volts series, but that's like the Red Matter Bomb and stuff. But at the moment, I'm not really touching that mod since, uh, since because since I don't have any of those like nuclear mods from Volts, uh, a lot of the recipes have been changed um, to be kind of dumb. Like um, the red matter bomb only takes like nine Nether stars, and it's pretty easy to set up a um, Wither farm. Although I don't know if that's 100% possible in Greg Tech, but um. It's not that hard to get a hold of nether stars, so I was going to rebalance the recipes to make them make a little more sense. Because this doesn't make a lot of sense. Or this. Or this, for that matter. Um, although refined uranium might take a little bit to get a hold of. Nah, you just throw it in the crucible. Cool. Um, let's see, do we got a decent pickaxe? We do not. Alright. Um, for the sake of showing how it's done, I'm going to smelt down this iron into a pickaxe head. The mold for which I have right here. Here, skeleton. Where are you? There's a, looks like there's a, perhaps a cave system, like, behind that wall somewhere, that somehow eluded me, eluded my sight, like this door here that I left open, alright, so, how are we looking on fuel, yes, got more dark ash, which I don't think is, ah, we got plenty, which I don't think is as useful as it used to be, because, um, you used to have to use dark ash to make iron, but now you can just use like coal, which I think is pretty nice. Um, grab my thermometer Ooh, and my pincers. Good, good. Uh, I got a whole bunch of these fire starters because they don't always go first try. All right, they went first try. Uh, so we are going to want to turn that one ingot into wrought iron. Which means we have to cook it at 2011 Kelvin, I believe. Yep. Uh, and I'd have to get it up to that temperature anyways in order for the wrought iron to melt. The reason why I'm using small coal ore is because um, it has a much shorter burn time, so that means that it, so that when I place a block down, it will snuff out the flames a lot quicker, which is good. The heater just kicked on. Ignore that. Do that and that. We should start cooling down. Hello? <laughs> uh, the crucible burns up at 2500 and it stopped at 2480. So, um, wow. Uh, let's see. Let's put sign. Yep, turn this raw pickaxe head into a not raw pickaxe head. Dust. How much we got? Only four. I haven't made that many of these. The reason why I'm using wrought iron is because they have a much higher durability. Although the mining level, level two, isn't as high as black granite, but that's fine. And then we're gonna. Oh, uh, I have these coke ovens set up. Um, my plan is that we're about to get into the steam age and I was going to have these create char uh, 
charcoal, which feed into boilers, and then I have creosote, which is going to go into a tank like there or something, which will feed into that. And also, any machine that requires heat and not um, rotational use units or kinetic units. I actually haven't gotten into rotational uni units yet, but um, kinetic units from steam engines. So all of the heat will also get the creosote, and the steam engines will get charcoal. I have a tree farm over there to keep it fueled with wood. I actually got some charcoal and creosote going already. Hmm. Alright, here I am in the appetite vein, and with my Hopefully final mic adjustment. I cranked up the volume a little bit Because I'm talking kind of quietly. I, I, I don't want to wake up my brother um, Who's still sleeping I get up kind of early and I got all of my online classes done pretty early, so I Decided I'd do this um, I'm sure like most Zoomers out there I've always dreamt of like being a let's player or what have you and um, I still kind of want to do that but never really have the time but now with um, all the coronavirus stuff I got plenty of time <laughs> Lord knows um, and I'd like to make time for it in the future but I don't want to make any promises uh, I'm sure you notice that um, blocks don't like drop as items, but they kind of zip into my inventory. Uh, I have a mod on called Auto Pickup, and the only reason for that is that um, some of the Grectic mods, uh, Grectic tools rather, is that um, if you break a block with them, they kind of like zoop into your inventory. And I added it more so for consistency because. Um, doesn't make a lot of sense that like some tools would have the items go straight into your inventory and some wouldn't. Let's see. Shapeless recipes with four and eight. So we're gonna do that. And I got a whole bunch more right here. Uh, I might want to talk a little bit more about the quest book. Um, since it's kind of the reason for this back to exist. Um, the way it's structured is with three columns. In the middle you have the main progression to get to like the next age, I guess. And over here you have miscellaneous tutorials on other random things you may come across. And over here are like little um, side quests, things that you can do just because. Um, Know, it's how they all go and none of these quests actually like affect progression if you look um, they give you a cookie as an item reward which was a suggestion in on one of bear 989 I believe uh, he's the only real Greg tech youtuber out there about to die of hunger and in one of his live streams uh, someone was thinking of making a quest book and he said that the only quest reward should be a, should be a cookie because you do a quest you get a cookie which I thought was really fun um, and because I don't really want the quest book to affect progression all that much mostly because if like seasoned pros want to play they don't have to like grind through early game stuff to get to anything new and it serves mostly as a tutorial and maybe as a little place for you to get like ideas for machines to build and stuff to do because I know for me I can't really focus on like actually that nah, that's not right although I do have a bad time focusing um, sometimes I'll be like playing and I'll just be like what do I do next and the quest book is there for also for people like me who just don't know what to do next. So over here I have my little water setup. I love that. Um that connects to uh, to a river over that way. And you'll notice that I actually have um pipes not running into the crucible but into here. Well you can't really 
see it because I hit all the wooden pipe. But um, I didn't exactly have the wood to make huge wooden pipes, which transports enough fluid per tick to actually <coughs> fill up a crucible at a reliable enough speed to to uh, clean large quantities of ores. So I had it fill up this. And so then each time I need, each time I need to clean ores, it goes into here. So I only have like, I think either normal sized or large wood fluid pipes at the back because, um, the river is quite a ways away. If we look at the map here, you'll see that, um, it's, it's that way. I'm just going to power through this hunger. power through. And then you there's a lot of appetite. We should be set. It probably didn't need me need to mine for that long. Oh. We're open up we're opening up the doors. Quick faster. Alright, cool. Let's see, the reason for all of the like mic changes changes and stuff is that um my setup wasn't really there for like actual game footage recording. Uh, if you look on my YouTube channel, you'll see mostly Stepmania clips and Osu and stuff like that. Um, so, sort of as I go, I've been making sure that the audio sounds decent as best as I can on my crappy little microphone. So now we have more appetizer than we can ever know what to do with. So, alright, let's just get all of the fertilizer <laughs> yeah I think I'm going to wager a bet that this will be enough unless I'm an idiot and it turns out that you can't actually use this fertilizer but I can't imagine you can um, I don't have bear corn this which is a mod made by that bear guy which does a lot of things which make sense in, in his mind but I think are real tedious. One of them is that you can't use bone meal and the reason for that is that he says it's he says it's kind of cheaty because you can insta grow crops which I mean yeah I guess that makes sense but um I was playing one of his packs and there was times when I would just be sitting for like half an hour just waiting for crops to grow and this makes it a little less grindy All right. I pro I definitely won't use all of this fertilizer I don't need that many although I do need a bunch I might use all the fertilizer just my my alright so I was gonna test something uh, if you take some coffee beans and just throw them into a furnace you get coffee and I wanted to see if that was like um, some of the Greg Tech beverages like you can make Greg Tech coffee and it gives you a speed boost and might be a chance to give you a speed boost take wood up that you can't. Uh, that's kind of a shame. Um, in Greg Tech, you can make coffee, which is just water and distilled water in a distillery. You can use normal water too, which I'll probably do because I'm a weirdo and I think that that would be fun. <clears throat> and two, I would like the speed boost. Probably won't, but anyways, I got more coffee beans than I will ever know what to do with so let's see we have that we got the juicer I should have some jugs lying around yep here we go <clears throat> and we should probably do some math about what we need so I want to make if you don't know what this process looks like it's this oh. if it would work there we go Treated wood planks. 
And it seems to only spit out about 10 at a time, so... It's really great. Also, this doesn't seem to want to work for me. That's great. Oh. Alright, well this is going very well for me. Yep, there we go. Yep. It's pretty normal stuff here, so, you know, as well. And just like magic, we have what we need, plus a whole lot of coffee powder. Which I'm curious if there's an easy way to mix into coffee. Like mocha ice cream. And, mmm, water mixed brown dye. Yeah, it looks like you gotta use a... In, in real life, I don't actually like coffee, but nah, in video games, that's some real good stuff right there. Sweet, so now for the next batch of grinding, we are going to be making a whole lot of wood. 26 times 2. We need 52 iron. Which I'm going to show you how to do, just in case you don't know how to do. Um, should have a whole bunch of... Nah, I think we put it in the words. Yeah, black sand. Which is what we're going to use for this. And we're going to grab us some purified coal. Although I'll probably want a little more than that. <clears throat> Excuse my stretch. Uh, we might have to go pick up some more coal, actually. Yeah, I think I'll... I think I'll do that. Alright, cool. This should be good. Ooh, I also need to grab this uh, plate mold since we're making plates. plates. Alright, um, sweet. Uh, that, get some food. Alright, cool. Let's get this going. So, the ratio 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 is 14 black sand um, to 6 purified coal. If you, look at, if you look at the recipe, it says 3 carbon, but I've discovered that um, it's 2 coal per 1, per one carbon in the recipe. <clears throat> But I've noticed that it doesn't always work perfectly, so it might be more like five, <sighs> three carbon equals like five and a half coal, or I don't know. Bear in his surviving Grek Tech series had a little like lever you could press to push a block up. I might do something like that because that seems like fun. Now we are going to throw in our coal. One, wait for that tick. Two, three, four, five, five. All right, that's that might be good, and then we're going to. Turn our those, make sure it doesn't explode. Quickly, quickly, quickly. We're gonna 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. Alright, that was kinda close. Um Alright, so it's pretty simple. Throw in what you need. Um and we should be good. So that's the iron making process. Pretty simple. And I'm going to keep on doing this until we have all the iron we need. I'll probably just turn all of this black sand in, into iron in case I need any in the future. So, yeah. See you in a moment.
Now here we have an issue where I accidentally filled my crucible too full and you can't actually get any coal in here because all 16 slots is filled up. So I'm going to let it cool off. So then I can use a shovel to get out a little bit of that um, magnetite dust. Well, it's going to come out of scrap. But all right, welcome back. Uh I have a whole bunch of zombies and just all of the iron plates we could ever possibly need. Which is pretty freaking great. So, it looks like all right, let's start getting all of this going. 26 exactly how many we need. And we're also going to need a little bit of um, tools to go along with it. But all in all, we should be good. Um, and that was just a. Uh, oh, nope, another saw. Wood wall, and I believe. Yep. Some of these that I raided from a uh, Greg Fort. Okay, all right, we did it. Looking good, looking good. All right, so let's set this up up here. I'm gonna stick it right here because why not? Um, it should be fairly easy to move. I think there's zombies on top of this hill, which I'll probably have to take care of. Um, let's grab some marble bricks so we can wall up that place looking out poking out um, this should be fine we won't have to break up the bottom or the top because we won't see it but we will see this so that probably doesn't look amazing but whatever <clears throat> Alright, let's see if this is working. Huh? 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 I, I suppose it has to be placed there. That's odd. Huh. Alright, well, that's how things are. So. Alright, so, um. What I really wanted to do is start making steel because I really want steel boilers and steel engines for everything. Because steel machines run faster and steel engines, steel boilers make more steam and steam engines make more kinetic units. And it's just all around a good time, so I need to do that. So, But before that, I want to start wiring that creosote into there to the tank I just made. So we need some wooden pipes. Uh, I might actually have some laying around. Not nearly as much as I thought I did. Alright. Um, soft mallet saw, which barely took a hit from all that crafting we just did. Hmm. Not as much as I wanted. Um, we don't have access to rubber or anything yet, so the soft mallets at the moment are kind of garbage. But that's fine. Um, that I'm gonna call that good for now. Um, all right. So we're probably gonna have a whole lot of exposed pipe up here, and I would like our first machine to be a low heat extruder which will allow us to turn this marble into marble plates which is good because if you don't know plates in Greg Tech can be used as covers for cables and stuff and you can make covers with other blocks later on but that's kind of difficult I need a wrench there we go um, yeah, you need like a printer and a scanner to get um covers made out of other stuff. So, all right. So, getting a extruder would be nice because we're probably going to have a lot of like steam pipes and stuff running around and if you touch those, you take damage. 
is less than good. Okay, so is this accepted? Uh, yep. Uh, we got plenty of crease, so run it in. Nice. And curious. Um I might I might need a few hoppers to take the charcoal out of there. Excuse me. Uh some hoppers. And I might have those go into a chest for now and then we'll eventually run them into our boilers. So let's make some hoppers, which I don't think are too expensive. We'll make some bronze hoppers. <clears throat> Slot count three. We did just make a whole lot of iron. If I can find the iron thing. Can you not make hoppers out of iron? I, that feels like something you'd be able to do. Silver, stainless steel, meteoric iron. I think I had a meteoric iron. I guess you can't. Alright, well, bronze it is. Um, I want three because I also want one for the burning box to get all that dark ash out. And what have you. Um, so, wait. I'm sure you saw some, like, volts, core... Uh, plates in there, just kind of annoying. Oh, uh, we need five. No, we need some volts core like plates and stuff. Um, something I still need to do is disable all of those and rework the explosives for ICBM to be compatible with like Gregtech stuff because the volts core adds like you know like pliers and wire cutters and stuff, but Greg Pick also adds those, so I feel like I would be able to add those fairly easily without too much pain. Bronze is what we were doing. Um, copper. And we're just about done here. Finishing up the last of our bronze. This should be plenty. It's only five per, and we're making three. Yep. 15. Let us see. I bronze hopper. We need three, six, seven, nine. If you don't know how to make these, you click them on. Grab your hammer that you made sure to grab beforehand. And right click the large end and cover your ears. Oof. Very loud, but effective. Chests. I believe I have some chests sort of lying around. Not enough. Give me eight of those. Beautiful. Do that. Uh, a little bit of that. Touch of that. And what was that? Um, hammer and a wrench. So, first we're gonna do this and um. Gonna grab me another chest enough to make two. Which won't be quite as long term as like a barrel or something. But I don't have item barrels quite yet. So we're gonna have to is this still hot? That's still very hot. Alright. Um we are going to make a little staircase down. Um, call that good. Um, yep. Dark ash. Beautiful. Um, I'll try and make this look pretty later, but for now, I'm just gonna leave it. And then, for this, we're gonna need... I'm curious, do these auto input into ion pipes? Hmm, let's run into the testing world and find out. Huzzah! Now, this place is unnecessarily visual. 
because I'm just a weirdo like that. But this is where I like to test out things. It's pretty fun. So what are we testing? Let's see, we're gonna grab ourselves a hopper. Item pipes. If I can spell it right. Um nah, let's just use some broad ones. Um Ooh, that looks promising. Uh I thought I yeah, I got a wrench. Um Um Yes, it does. All right. Awesome. Here's a very useful tip. If you always have like a creative test world so that you can, you know, test things, I guess. Cool. And my skin is broken because if you change worlds in, in this, um, for some reason that happens. It's really great. Um, so... For that we need item pipes, which we need brass for. Which isn't too hard to make, or I could just raid it from that grid. That's probably what I'm gonna do. Yeah, that's just a boat right away. Yeah, I, yeah. I'll just go swipe some brass from that Greg Ford. Alright, here we are. Uh, this ocean leads to what I like to think of as the second continent, which is where it's a whole bunch of ore veins and stuff, but right smack dab in the middle. Well, it's right besides an island, is a Greg Ford, which. right over here. Taking a look. Yep, there it is. This is actually one of the nicer looking ones I found. Black and purple look alright together. I found one which was like cyan mixed with turquoise green. Wasn't amazing, but had lots of goodies in it. Okay, let's not crash the boat. Ah, it's gonna fly out a little bit that way. Alright. Head down. Down, 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 down. Down. Down, down, do the deep. There's a lot underneath. There's a spider. Normally, monsters cannot spawn on these blocks, but for some reason they like to in here. I think it might be these prismarine blocks or something. Anyways, um, we are going to steal- No! <sighs> Welp. Um... Be right back. We're back. And I realized something that might be detrimental. I'm playing in adventure mode, and in order to dig up graves, you actually need a shovel. So I'm hoping that I drop some, like, black granite and sticks in the chest down here. And if not, I'm... Ah, oh, God, this is Kelly. Ah, jeez. I don't know why mobs are spawning in here. Ow. I did not. Alright, so we're just gonna quickly go. Ooh. Nope, that's not what I meant. Just gonna run, just gonna run, just gonna run. Run, 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 run. 
I just run as I as run as far as I can without any hunger. Okay. Uh, I need. There's a skeleton coming. Ah, startled me. Get over here. Hey, um. Not going well for me. Zombie, hello, come here. Now I'm gonna take my brass and run. Brass, a whole bunch of brass. Screw it, I'll take more. Nah, I might as well grab it. There. Boom. Easy. Alright, well. Meet you back at the base. Things are going really poorly for me. I'm being attacked by skeletons on all angles. And I am far away. Okay, okay, okay. Run, run, run. Uh, I swear to God. Greg... Made monsters a little harder in this game. Just avoid the yellow dots on the map. Should have enough hunger to sprint all the way. Frick! Ah, oh, God. Um, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Actually, I think that we're safe over here. Let's try and start regenerating some health. Um, okay. Uh, this axe. There's like one hit left. Might have to bash a zombie on my way there. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna be okay. Um Emphasis on think. Uh Oh god, oh god, get it, get it, get it! Get away! Okay. Um. God, I hate skeletons. Okay, um. Okay, we should be good. Should be good. Oof, okay. That was. kinda stressful. But you know what? We made it. We made it, we made it, we made it. Okay, jeez. So, I am going to wrap up this. By having all of these item pipes set up. I might just make small ones. <clears throat> since um, the Coke oven doesn't make charcoal that fast, so I'll just make these because they're cheap. Cheaper, anyways. I don't actually have a bending cylinder yet. Saw file hammer. Saw hammer. File. And. Bunch of iron. Hammer wrench. Um, that sh should be good. Be even better if our hammer didn't break. Um, am I running low on granite? Nope, I'm not. <laughs> I got loads right here. Alright, and we do that. Huzzah. Not the thermometer. There we go. Um have our hoppers. Need a little more. So 
of that. And I think that we're just about good here. Um, let's put our output chest for now. Um, let's say right here. Um, let's start by laying down the pipe. Um, actually, no, it's not. Let's grab a wrench. Oh, I probably shouldn't do that. I'm not on very high health. Um, early game wrenches are slow. Um, and then one, two. All right, looking good, looking good. And we'll just tuck that in right there. Uh, not there. Charcoal. All right. So then we'll just cover as much of this up as we can. Do I have a? I don't have my chisel on me. I thought that I didn't need, like, I thought I could turn the add into this, that doesn't make sense, the cobblestone into marble bricks without needing the smooth stone. Alright, so, I might, I might put, I might have a second line that runs wood into it automatically. That'd be, that would be cool, actually. I think that I should be able to do that pretty easily. Okay, new plan. Uh, we need more bronze. Okay. Um, put you in there. One, two, three, four, five. Get our plate mold it's right there. Um. Been doing a lot of smelting today. Should be good. Um, oh, I forgot that one of those turns into nine. Um, I thought it turned into eight. Let's make two. Two fire stars for now, which will hopefully be enough to start this. Huzzah! Alright. Uh, it's only melts at 13.57, so. I reckon that this should be fairly quick. Or not. I'll cut this out if I must. If I must. I wonder if there's like an early game boxer, boxinator, so that I can automatically turn those on. Small dust into normal size dust. That would be pretty damn cool. Um, I mean, I guess these build craft automatic crafting tables. I'll have to look at that. Because I think that those might need an engine to run. And all of the engine for recipes like the redstone engine should be, should still be like cheap. Although the piston might have been changed. I will look at it.
Add it to the to-do list. Da -da 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 -da. Three, one, two, three. Do that. And hammer, hammer, hammer. Cover your ears. Alright, cool. All right, all right, and wrench, and yes, just enough, okay. Um, okay, let's, we have to make another hammer, which is okay, I guess. Zoop, zoop. Let's see, we're going to need I mean, let's just turn all of these into curved plates. Music to the ears. Alright, um. The pipe. Ah, it's gonna take another hammer. All the hammers. Too many hammers. Hammer, bending cylinder, and what, like a wrench? Yeah, a wrench. Probably won't make as many as I want, yeah. Um, tools, this. Okay, you know what, that should be enough. Should be good. Um, All right, okay. So now, is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna dig up some of these. One, middle, one, two, three. Wait, crap, I didn't make enough. I didn't make these, enough of these bronze hoppers because I need one that will also go into ah, I need a wrench <clears throat> so many things ah screw it let's make a steel one it'll be a good investment sound of a wrench uh, hammer breaking always good always good I swear if there's one tool that you're gonna really just be burning through it's probably gonna be that hammer. Um I'm gonna have to have this like a block down, so let's just do that. Okay, okay. Then Uh, is this gonna be enough? Yes, just barely, just barely. Uh, we need one more hopper. Um. Oh, uh, jeez. Uh. Okay, let's smelt up some more. Is that hot? Yep, hot. Ooh, that's hot. That's really Well, not hot enough to actually burn. Let's just make two again. Let's just make a whole bunch of sticks. Because gosh darn it, I sure go through a lot. And I got plenty of wood, so it'll be easy to replace. Hold on, please. Yes, okay. It, it went. Okay. Four, five. Oh, well, that tossed out the whole stack. All right. Excuse me while I pop my back. 
Alright, well, we'll be right back. <laughs> 